Hello students, in this video we'll discuss deferred annuities and annuities over longer periods of time. Let's let I be the effective annual rate of interest and nu is the present value factor, one over one plus I. Let's consider the following annuity. Our typical annuities go between zero, one, two, three, up to n, and now I'm going to enlarge that to a time beyond time n, n plus 1 up to time m. So this point over here would be n plus m, that's n plus n, plus m minus 1. So we have a different time period past time n as well to consider. And so the first thing we're going to do is this. What if we get paid a dollar? Here's the first question we'll address. We get paid a dollar, we'll do the immediate case over here. So we'll do one over here, one over here, one over here, all the way up to time n. If I just had that payment stream, that would be exactly a n i over there. But now what happens if we go further? If we go further, we keep getting dollars past time n plus one, n plus two, all the way up to time n plus n. Well, if I add the entire stream, the entire stream, namely payments from time one all the way up to time n plus m. So if I look at the entire stream, the present value of that would be a n plus m i. Okay, great. Now the question becomes is how can I relate this to the a n and the a m? Well, if we took this stream over here which starts at n plus one, and we look at the present value over here at this time, that would have a present value of a m i at time, not at time zero, but at time n. So those extra payments would be an a m i at time n. So this gives us a way of writing out a nice formula for this, namely that a n plus m i is the present value of the first couple payments, the an payments, a n i, plus I would have a m i, but I need to discount that by n units of time. So I'm going to discount the a m i by nu to the power m. And so we get this beautiful formula that relates a longer term annuity for two periods and an m periods to an n period and an m period. Beautiful. Now let's use this as motivation for discussing deferred annuities. So, and of course, I can symmetrize this over M and N if I wish, okay? Now let's consider the deferred annuity. Deferred annuities are very important because if you wanted to buy something like an insurance product or an annuity when you're in your 30s and say, I'm going to buy an insurance product in my 30s or my 40s, and I want to be paid starting in my 60s or my 70s, so I'm going to defer the annuity payments, not I'm going to buy the policy at, time, at age 40, but I'm going to defer the annuity payments until time 60 or time 65 or 70 based on what your retirement age is. So these deferred annuities come up a lot when you're doing retirement calculations, okay? And so what is this stream going to look like? This stream is going to be the following. Here's time zero, here's time one, here's time two, here's time three, all the way down to time n. And then the annuity payments are going to turn on, so here's time n. You're going to start the annuity payments at time n plus one, all the way down to time n. Like that. So you can get payments at time one, at time n plus one, all the way down to time m. Okay. So what we're going to say is we're going to use this notation. We're going to say this is I'm going to defer n years an annuity a m i. So that's what we're going to discuss. That that will represent the present value of this stream. That's the present value of that stream. Let's go by this. And so how do we do this? Well, let's look at that stream over there. If we were to take this payment stream of all those ones and bring it back to time n, what would that represent? That would simply be an a n i, or a m i rather, that's m plus n of course, um, a m i. That would, that, that's what that payment stream would be, because I have exactly m payments over here, and I bring them back to that time. So I have those m payments that brought back to time m. This is at time what? Similar to above, at time n. 
So it would be a m i at time n, but we're not at time n. We're at time n. So I need to bring that back at time to time um, to time zero by the following. So we can conclude from this that the deferred annuity, if I defer n years and I get m payments after the n years, the effective annual rate of interest i will exactly be what? It will exactly be new to the n. I bring it back n years a m i. And that gives us our formula for a deferred annuity with a payment period of m plus n years in totality. So in other words, there might be slightly different notations that you see for things like this, but it suffices to use the, whenever you see a present value stream in this form, you always want to develop notation that's consistent with the other notation you see and making sure that everything is brought back to time zero. Thank you very much.